Hello everyone. So we're going to have a presentation on an edge framework for facial recognition. So my name is Luo Yuyin. I'm from Intel, and uh, this is Joy uh, Yijia Liu, and she is a student a volunteer for our program. And now let's get started. Um, Okay, the agenda today we have is ha is going to be four parts. The first one is going to talk about what and why is edge computing. And the next one we are going to have is about a, what, a user scenario in this case. And the third, we'll talk about the framework for the cloud stack and the edge stack. The first one is going to be the summary. So let's uh, first invite uh, Joy to start with the intro part. Oh, not okay. Hello everyone. So um, first of all, I'm sure many of you here are familiar with what edge computing is. But let me just uh, identify some of why we use edge computing. So first of all, edge computing is a technology that we can use uh, to um, uh, also augment other technologies. So right now we have a bunch of frontier technologies such as on-demand NFV, hardware acceleration, AI, microservices, and 5G. And by utilizing edge computing, we are able to augment these other technologies and apply it to many user scenarios, for example, augmented reality and wearable cognitive devices. So now, yeah, okay. So now what is the difference between cloud and edge? Well, there's not really one single barrier that separates cloud computing from edge computing. It is a gradual transition. So as we go from uh, cloud computing to edge computing very gradually, we see an increase in locality, a decrease in latency, and a decrease in flexibility and capacity. So specifically, the increase in locality and the decrease in latency can give edge computing an edge, I would say, um, in its many user scenarios, such as uh, the ones we identified last uh, in the previous slide and the ones that we will identify in the next slide. So for edge computing, we have many projects such as Starling X and Acrano, and for cloud computing, we have projects such as OpenStack, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Oh, oh this is, okay, thank you. Yeah, so now let, let me talk about one of the specific user scenar scenarios that we are describing in this slide which is trying to use edge computing for facial recognition. So for facial recognition, first of all, the first step was data would be gathered through our surveillance cameras and then transferred uh, through our eNodeB and GNodeB into our, uh, through our gateway into our edge computing platform. So uh, for the gateway, we will utilize OpenNest to both separate and forward the data into our edge servers. So prior to this, our cloud will have already sent our facial, trained facial recognition models uh, through the 5GC and EPC into our edge servers. And using these models, we can 
uh, create an inference and give it back through the gateway again into our users. So in the scenario where we're using facial recognition to uh, identify missing children or, for example, identify criminals, our users would be the policemen. So this has many applications um, from utilizing edge computing for facial recognition to give for public safety, to rescue on-site checking, people density warnings, and reducing SLAF workload. So now I will give the mic to Ruoyu, which will, who will talk about a little bit more detail. So next up, would, for me, I'm going to deep dive into two structures, the cloud stack as well as the edge stack. So let's first start with the cloud stack. The style stack, um, we are mostly based on OpenStack or Kubernetes. And the architecture actually looks like the um, left of work for you. Um, the underneath, we have the IA-based platform and the operating system, which is Linux. And later on, we have the virtualization hypervisor or the container runtime. And for example, here is, is the KVM and Docker. In other words, we have the cloud operating system. For container, we could have Kubernetes. And for the virtual machines, we have the OpenStack, right? And later on, we, we are going to have our own workloads, the virtual machines or the container. And uh, in order to support our scenario, we are going to a little bit introduce what are the supporting items for, for a facial recognition or, I mean, something like that. Um, we are going to have the, some primitives um, accordingly, like to, um, can, can be used for analytics, machine learning, and deep learning. And we need to have, have some machine learning libraries. Um, and in order to have the deep learning working quite fine, we're involving the uh, OpenVINO as well as Intel Mavidius uh, SDK inside to help with that. And at, at the top, we are going to build these applications such as the smart cities or the facial recognition in our case. Uh, so this cloud stack is going to connect it to the app stack through the 5G core network. Okay, the next part will be the edge stack. Okay, and so we are building this edge stack or constructing this edge stack through the Ukraine, one blueprint inside Ukraine. It's called the integrated cloud native blueprint. And as you can see, it covers almost every layer we need for an edge stack from the underneath the hot platform to the platform services. And also we have some specific edge common services inside. Uh, and at the, um, at the second level, we could have the service orchestrators as well as some apps and VNAPs. So I'm going to talk a little bit more inside uh, for Ukraine. So um, using some technology, so projects such as the Vertolit and Maltus, we are able to have the workload uh, um, like several um, network interface inside the containers. And also using the OVN, OVN for Kubernetes, we're able to dynamically create or delete these um, networks in, inside the container. And um, you know, as we are going to collect telemetries from these um, collect the or promises, we are able to do some analytics and how was the the burning stuff. Um, and also, we. Uh, actually, I talk a little bit about this in the morning's um, session, and uh, we are in, we are having some integration with the ONAP project using some kind of the ONAP for Kubernetes part to help with the multi-site orchestration as well as some placement decisions, um, and that's how we uh, construct this whole edge stack. And this edge stack is uh, otherwise linking to the cloud stack through the same 5G core network. And I think it's, since it's a lightning talk, we are going to give out a summary. So in this session, we are, we firstly, the edge computing is really adopted by quite many s use cases, things on the AI emerges and the five technologies and is going to be adopted by many cases. And in another thing is that we are uh, proposing an edge framework that um, with the edge stack running um, constructed by the ICN blueprint and with the openness, uh, we are able to uh, separate and forward the, our traffic into our edge cloud platform. And um, the basic cloud stack is uh, constructed based on OpenStack and Kubernetes. Uh, where the AI workloads will be inside either VM or container. 
So, and, and also I think I missed something inside the um, integrated cloud native uh, stack that we are having multiple hardware accelerations technology supported inside such as the Intel Quick Assist technology or the SLV and DPTK. So um, maybe in, in the further steps, we can um, take the advantages of GPU or FPGA to uh, furthermore utilize our, uh, or enhance our framework. So that's all for our presentation. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, in your slide, you have mentioned the uh, OpenNAS project several times. But what is the OpenNAS project? Can you explain a little? So uh, actually, in our so actually in in this one, uh, we are going to use the OpenNAS to uh, really distribute and uh, no, not distribute to separate and forward our traffic. It can be used as a application level on um, orchestrator help us to um, fetch the surveillance data into our edge computing platform. Since there are actually a lot more data within the, um, uh, the base station, uh, the openness here will really help a lot for us to get the specific data into our platform for the um, tr uh, inference. I don't know if it answers your question. Anyone else? It looks like not, so thanks a lot for listening. <laughs>